Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a video to share showing the new Simon Says Stamp February 2015 card kit. This card kit is all about love and has this great stamp set with some awesome sentiments as well as some great image stamps. I'm going to be using the large sentiment and a piece of sticky back canvas that also comes in the kit. You get a full sheet of it, but I've cut mine down. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this large Will You Be My Valentine sentiment onto the center area of the sticky back canvas. And then I've completely covered my stamp with Versamark ink, which is just a clear sticky ink that can be used for embossing. And I'm going to go ahead and press this down onto my piece of canvas. Now you want to make sure you have a lot of ink on the stamp, and you also want to make sure you put a lot of pressure onto the stamp when you're pushing it onto the canvas. Just because it's a textured material, um, you really want to make sure that the stamp and the ink go into the grooves of the canvas. So now I'm going to go ahead and cover this piece with Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Powder, which also comes in this month kit and you're not really going to see it too well you can kind of see it when I tilt it in the camera a little bit there but I've completely covered that stamped image and now I'm heat setting it and what this is going to do is it's going to allow that sentiment area to resist ink that I'm going to go ahead and add here now so I'm using festive berries ink from Tim Holtz this is distress ink and I'm just going ahead and kind of dabbing it onto the paper a piece of scrap paper before I'm applying it to the canvas piece. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm starting to apply the ink directly in the center area of the canvas. Normally when I apply ink, I start off on the edge and kind of work my way onto the surface. But for this particular technique that I'm doing, I want the center area of the canvas to be where the ink is heavily concentrated and I want it to fade out as it comes to the edges of the canvas. So rather than starting on the edges, I actually don't want any ink to be on the edges of the canvas. So I just kind of dabbed off excess ink so that I didn't have big splotches of ink in the center area. So then I went ahead and completely added the ink over top of that sentiment and you can see it completely resisted and you can see the white canvas showing from underneath. So now once I have that part done, I'm gonna go ahead and rip the edges off of each piece of this canvas. And that's one of the great things about this sticky back canvas. If you use scissors and kind of just start a little cut line and then pull on the piece, it's going to rip completely straight down the canvas. So it allows you to give it a great um, textural edge, but not make it completely a big mess when you rip it apart. It still kind of keeps it in its rectangular form, and I love that about this sticky back canvas. So I just went ahead and did that to all four sides, and now you can see I have this great piece of canvas. It's already completely embossed. My ink is on it, and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to stick it back to the backing piece just until I'm ready for it and then I'll adhere it directly onto my card. So I went ahead and cut out one of the pattern papers. These, This is Crate um, pattern papers that come in the kit and they're really great pastel-y love themed pat pattern papers. And I went ahead and went bold for this card and used the black and white um, XOXO pattern paper. And then I just went ahead and added that sticky back canvas directly on top of that piece. I'm going to adhere this completely to a side folding white note card when I'm finished, but before I do that I wanted to add some more stamping to the canvas. So I went ahead and grabbed one of the heart stamps from the stamp set, and I'm just going ahead and stamping that with VersaFine Black Onyx ink. This is a pigment ink, so you just want to let it sit for a little bit before you do too much with the canvas, just because it will um, run a bit before it dries and smudge if you kind of hit it with your fingers or anything. So just be careful when using it, but it does allow a very crisp impression considering that we're stamping directly onto a canvas piece. And now I also wanted to add a couple of smaller hearts but I didn't want to deal with masking off that large falling heart stamp set so I actually ended up just cutting two of the hearts away from it. I just picked one in each corner so that it's easy to go ahead and reassemble it into the full stamp when I want to but this just allows me to use them as single hearts rather than that full image. So I'm just using the black VersaFine ink once again to go ahead and stamp those little hearts all over the canvas piece on my card. So I just kind of did a little visual triangle. I did a couple in the top corner, a couple in the bottom corner, and then one in the center area kind of beside that sentiment piece. And then to add a little bit more detail and fun to the card, I decided to add some sequins as well. These don't come in the kit. I just pulled these out of my stash. These are just some plain um, clear ones, but you can use any color on here. You can throw some black in, which would look really cool um, in contrast with the black hearts, or you can use white or pink, any, any ones that you prefer. I just thought the clear looked really nice. And then I'm finishing them off with my go-to, you've seen me do it a million times, I like to use silver stickles and put that in the center area of the sequins as well as kind of on its own. 
which creates small little sparkly dots around the card front. Just another way to add a little bit of dimension. So that completes the card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you create with the February Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. Thanks so much for watching.